ASEAN in Southeast Asia, we are undertaking a study where small and medium enterprises are beginning to be seen as giving the economic growth in the ASEAN space. And most of these small and medium enterprises are run by women, 90 95%. So they should be in positions of leadership. In the country, in the region, there are different ways of um, getting into the political arena for women. But in my country, the space is open for any woman who wants to run for the presidency, for the vice presidency, for the Senate, for the lower house, and for national, local government. In local government, the women prevail. In the, fed, in the national government, we are limited. Nevertheless, we have produced two women presidents. There are two women candidates for next year's elections to the presidency. As of this moment, one is also aspiring to become vice president and several women running for the Senate and the lower house. How do we empower them? They have enough education to be able to carry on as politicians. They have enough education to carry on as uh, effective and successful entrepreneurs. So with all of this, we empower them and give them every chance to be leaders in their own fields. We also have a setup in the Philippines where maybe because we at one time were a matriarchal society, well, men generally cooperate with the women and help them get to their positions. But that is not a general rule. That is more relatively speaking. And still we have to overcome certain challenges and barriers, such as providing the women with more technology, better training, and the market, and, and on all of these things.